Wall Street Journal on the doormat, top floor apartment. 20 bucks says this guy's like a hot eligible bachelor. I'll take that action. Police, open up. Hello. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. How are you today? I am Detective Wright all the time. And this is my partner, Detective Terrible Detective. Santiago takes the lead with one minute left. Suck it, Peralta. Oh, no. That's right. Oh, no. Oh, no. You don't seem worried. Why aren't you worried? Bring in the Johns. I ran a prostitution sting through Vice and arrested 30 guys for soliciting. That's not a felony. It is when it's your second offense, which is the case for 10 of these gentlemen. Fun fact, four of them are actually named John. Ironic. Anywho, 10 more for Peralta, except your fate. Never. Five, four, three, two, oh. one. Jake wins. Amy loses. <laughs> Amy Santiago, you have made me the happiest man on earth. I spent one whole dollar on this ring. Will you go on the worst date ever with me? You have to say yes. Yes. She said yes! She said yes! For you? Look, um, <laughs> I don't want to be a jerk. I know you're dating Teddy, and it's going really well. It's just... What's going on? I don't know what's gonna happen on this assignment, and if something bad goes down, I think I'd be pissed at myself if I didn't say this. <sighs> I kinda wish something could happen between us. Romantic styles. And I know it can't, because you're with Teddy, and I'm going undercover, and that's just how it is, but. Anyway, we're not supposed to have any contact, so I should go. America needs me. <laughs> Bye. You know what? We should go. No, actually, I think you should stay. So we can all talk about the real reason there's a problem in my relationship with Amy, which is you, Jake. But what now, huh? About how you told her that you liked her before you went undercover. You liked Amy? Um, I did, but that was many moons ago. Was it? Because I know for a fact you also told her when you got back. And every time you would, she would get confused, and then our relationship would get out of sync. And if you ask me, I think it's because Amy liked you back. Did you? Maybe. Yes. A little. I mean, I was confused, and I really need my laptop right no. now. You know what, this is uh, officially too much for me, so I'm gonna go upstairs and rip the heads off some dolls. Good night. I'm gonna leave too. If you'd please leave my toothbrush and my home brewing kit at the doorstep, I'll pick them up tomorrow. Well, I guess that's the last time I invite Teddy on a trip, right? <laughs> Drama. I'm gonna go. Yeah, me too. Can you get the car from the valet of Babel? I'm gonna go in the back and say hi to the chef. Good luck on your wedding, guys. Oh, have fun on your honeymoon. We will. We're going to Waco, Texas. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. Waco, Texas? I don't know. It was just on Dateline. All right. Well, Augustine took the laptop case with him. He's going to make the drop. Let's go. Look, there's the buyer. Or maybe he's just actually saying hi to the chef. Why isn't he making the handoff? Oh, crap. He saw us. Uh, Excuse me. Oh. Hey. We were just looking for a place to, uh... Boink. Yep. Boink. That's my preferred term for it as well. Mm -hmm. I get it. Newly engaged kids. Enjoy. Thanks. Good. Good, 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 good. Kept our cover intact. Nice work. Quick professional thinking out there. Very quick. Very professional. Detective? Detective. Let's get back on the case. It's Officially on a date. Romantical date. Yes, we are. No longer just colleagues. Dating. You got a haircut. It looks nice. Oh, thanks. You also got a haircut. At some point in your life, I'm sure. That's not your baby hair. That would be crazy. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you look very nice. Domo arigato. <laughs> Do you speak Japanese? No. Oh. Uh, sorry, I think. 
feeling a little awkward. Yeah, me too. How do we make it not weird? I know. Let's just get super drunk. Yes, great idea. Pardon me, ma'am. Could you please bring us four kamikaze shots? And four for me as well. Ah, I like your style. See, we can do this. We're back on track. We're keeping it light and breezy. So, we broke a rule. Yeah, I hope it wasn't a mistake. Hope it wasn't a mistake. Title of your sex tape. <gasps> Title of our sex tape. <sighs> They're all so beautiful. And they're all about to be tested. Bouncy styles. I love this mattress. And it loves having you in it. God? It's Brian. Oh. And I'm obsessed with giving you a good night's sleep. Hello, Brian. Coming on a little strong there, buddy. And I'm digging it. How much to take this bad boy home? Actually, that's one of our more reasonable models. Oh. Holy Moses, that is much too much money. Uh, well, you spent twice that for Mr. Met to come to your birthday party. Yeah, and it was worth it. Mr. Met used my bathroom, number two. That's a memory I will cherish forever. Look, mattresses are expensive, but they're an investment. It's gonna be in your life for a long time. True, but it's also still just a mattress, you know? It's a lot of money to spend on a rectangle that's filled with springs and goose hair. You know it's feathers. I didn't. And it would be money well spent because it would allow me to actually sleep in your bed. But I already have a mattress. It just doesn't seem worth it. Okay. Well, to me, it sounds like you're saying I'm not worth it. So I'm gonna go sleep in my grown-up mattress that I bought this century and you're not invited. You know, she's right about mattresses being an investment. Back off, Brian. Hey, can I ask you something? Hmm? If the toilets drain into the ocean, does that mean a tiny shark could swim up and bite me in the butt? No, not at all. <sighs> Lame. Look, I know you're bummed about the Pontiac Bandit, so if it's any consolation, we could spend the rest of the cruise eating shrimp in bed. That is incredibly sweet, but no way we have too many activities to do. Eh? You'll never guess what starts in three minutes. Salsa dancing! Oh, so you can guess. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. I love you. Noise. Smart. I love you too. Also, I think this is definitely a dance class for widows. No, I don't think so. No? Now turn to your partner and tell them how your spouse died. Yeah, we should get out of here. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Okay. Or Figus, do you have any weapons? I have the pipe we pulled out of me. I would sooner surrender than go anywhere near your gooey body pipe. Oh no, I'm gonna do it! Oh, uh, Jake! Uh, I'm so gonna do you! Uh. I can't believe Leonardo lived in this. I mean, Michelangelo, I get, he's kind of a sloppy dude, but Leo is so fastidious. Jake, shut up. Sarge, we're in a sewer. I'm going to talk about the turtles. No, Jake, shut up. I hear something. NYPD, free! NYPD, keep your hands where we can see them! You, you have, have the right to remain silent. Anything, anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. law. You, you have, have the right, right to an attorney. attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you. Why did you stop? I'm done, you win. What? what? I love you. I want to move into your apartment. Really? I love you too. Oh my god, what a beautiful moment. And you guys, Amy's ovulating as we speak. What? Charles! All right, head to the back. You're going to jail. Hey, I don't get it. Why did you decide to let me win? I don't know. When we were back there racing through the Miranda rights, I just looked over at you and thought, you're awesome and you're good at doing things. I mean, sure, I'll miss Towel, but your happiness is worth way more than winning some stupid bet. Are you sure about this? Oh yeah. Your apartment is better than mine in every way imaginable. You wanna know what my first thought was when we dropped into the sewer? Uh, Smells like home. Oh. He's lying, Amy. His first thought was about the Ninja Turtles. Come on, Terry, we were in a sewer. He's guns to think about the turtles. Yeah, I'm guns to Terry. Quit being such a Malfoy. Yeah, Terry.